drum, we believe in drumming and we're indigenous and feels like an appropriate thing to do because of this great loss, you know. So I think, you know, whatever inquiry or actions that are taken to uh, return these children, it will be a formal process that the families will speak out and have their time also because they've lost, you know, a generation. Many families might have ended from that. These 215 babies that were found in a mass grave in BC that we were all so upset. So it kind of thought, let's have a singing to commemorate their loss. And thank you for coming. And thank you for those blessings to 215 children. And that's only one spot. Mm. <laughs> There's a lot more out there that has to be discovered. And this is the truth of Canada. Sometimes when I'm asked if I'm proud to be Canadian, I question that because I saw what happened. Sometimes I want to say yes, and sometimes I want to say no. I don't want to be part of Canadian history but I am part of Canada. Our ancestors built this country. My first child was born in 1996. The last year the residential school was closed. That's how close it is. I was shamed to speak my own language in my home because the visitor was not able to speak or understand my language. Shame, shame, shame I has to stop. And that's why I'm here to support. And thank you for coming. And thank you for those blessings to 215 children